Hey guys, this is Kevin from jazzham.com and today we'll be reviewing the newly released Rolex Datejust 41 from the Basel World 2017 show. The reference number for this watch is 126334. We'll be going over the price, the dial, bezel, case, crown, brace, bracelet, clasp, and we'll talk about the movement towards the end of the video. Alright, so as of October 2017, you can get this Rolex Datejust at an authorized Rolex retailer for $11,400. Or you can get it from jazztime.com for as low as $9,949. Moving on to the dial now. As of all day just, we have a very simple we have very simple dial architecture here. Just we have diamond hour markers. At, three, at the three o'clock position, we have the date window or date aperture with a cyclops lens on top of that sapphire crystal for magnification and easier viewing of that date. At the 12 o'clock position, we have the Rolex Crown logo at crown logo and right underneath that we have the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Datejust name right underneath that. The specific dial configuration I have in my hand here is diamond hour markers. The diamond hour markers are fashioned in 18 karat white gold to prevent any tarnishing. The dial color itself is a dark rhodium uh, specifically for Datejust. Uh, there's always numerous configurations for the dial for Datejust specifically for the Datejust 41 in the, in the steel. Uh, for diamond hour markers, you're looking at the rhodium, which I have in my hand, black, blue, or mother of pearl, and of course, for around two thousand less than the retail, uh, two thousand less than the retail that I gave you, you can get even simpler, uh, simpler dial markers, which are the index markers, or uh, which are pretty much stick hour markers with luminescence, and the dial colors you can get that in is white, silver, blue, black, and also rhodium. Okay. Besides that, moving on to the bezel now. The bezel is just a fixed 18 karat white gold fluted bezel. As you can see, it captures light, light in different portions of the bezel very nicely. Has a nice sparkle to it. To the case size now, as the name suggests, Datejust 41 is a 41 millimeter size, uh, 41 millimeters in diameter case size. So from index finger to my thumb here, that's 41 millimeters in diameter. The side profile of the case is actually Actually, actually quite nice. It's a thin, thin profile, not too high. Uh, in the previous version, in the Datejust 2, the one that was discontinued to make room for these Datejust 41, it had a much thicker, uh, much thicker casing, uh, and a much thicker bezel as well. With the Datejust 41, it's a little more streamlined, a little bit, a little bit thinner lugs, a little bit thinner case, and thinner bezel. If you're interested in knowing the full extent of that, we do have a comparison video on our YouTube channel you can check out for the differences between the Datejust 2 and Datejust 41. Besides that, we have this very nice high polish on the side of, side of the case, travels very nicely with the bracelet. On to the other side as well, we have that same high polish again with the, on the side of the case, down to the sides of the bracelet, Rolex crown logo on the crown itself. The crown on the Datejust 41 serves a very simple function. It is a screw down twin lock double waterproofness system that unwinds counterclockwise as shown. Okay, and in this first position, this is the standard position in which you can uh, wind the watch. About 15 to 20 times from a dead stop, we'll get the watch winded and start, and start running once more. A simple tug of the crown will set it to the uh, first position in which you can go ahead and adjust uh, adjust or set the date just by going clockwise you see how simple that is and keep your eye out here on the second hand as I pull the crown out to the final position it actually stops the second hand or the hack movement and that allows for precise time settings such as to an atomic clock online you can set the time down to the exact seconds okay and of course you can also adjust the hands bi-directionally make sure you always press the crown in like once more that gets the second time started and always make sure to screw the crown nice and tight against the case as it keeps the swatch water resistance for 100 meters or 330 feet. Moving on to the bracelet now. Bracelet, very beautiful Jubilee bracelet. Uh, Jubilee, the Jubilee bracelet is a five piece link bracelet for specifically Datejust. It is a dress, it is a dress watch. So we have this beautiful high polish in the center of the three piece, the three pieces while we have this contrasting satin finish or brush steel on the outer, uh, outer of the five piece links. Same thing with the class as well. You see that sand finish brush deal on the outer edges while the center holds that nice high polish and onto the other side as well. Now this bracelet is made out of 904 steel, which is an in-house made steel by Rolex. It is, has additional corrosion resistance. 
Uh, specific, uh, specifically for the clasp and the bracelet, they've actually done something a little bit different. Usually with Jubilee bracelets, it's a full pattern of Jubilee throughout with a concealed foiling clasp. Instead, they decided to add a more sportier clasp to the Datejust 41, as you can see by this folding oyster clasp. And there we are, we open that up to reveal the high polish clasp blades with the Rolex name embossed on there. Behind the clasp itself, there's what Rolex calls the Easy Link, which is a quick five millimeter extension inward or outward uh, for the bracelet. And that's more for uh, quality of life features, such as uh, if it were a hotter day, your wrist swells up a little bit and the, the watch the watch was a little bit tight on your wrist, you can adjust for that five millimeters forward to give yourself a little more breathing room so your wrist isn't so choked up by the watch and vice versa for colder days as well. All right, moving on to the movement now. The movement is housed in this Oyster case backing. It is Rolex's in-house made caliber 3235 movement. It is a brand new movement that is based off their flagship model, the, the Day Day Present, which has a 3255 movement. This is the 3235 movement, which upgrades the 3135 movement. It's Rolex's perpetual mechanical self-winding movement. It has a precision of minus two plus two seconds a day. Um, and has the functions of the center hour, minute, and second hand with instant changing of the day and rapid setting and stopping the second hands for precise time setting. So specifically, the thing that the two th major things that they've upgraded uh, in the 32-35 movement is that they've added the Chrono J escapement, which is a skeletonized escape wheel with uh, that has been made with nickel phosphorus or phosphorus nickel. Uh, which adds additional additional magnetism, or rather additional resistance against magnetism, and that's paired with the uh, paramagnetic blue pericom hairspring, which also is magnetic resistance. The skeletonization of the escapement will uh, reduces the inertia on the watch for even more precise time setting, or rather time keeping. The other thing about it is the other thing about the the movement that has been changed is that the power reserve originally in the Datejust 2 it was a 48 hour power reserve but now it is a whopping 70 hour power reserve so you can put this watch down on a Friday evening pick it back up on a Monday afternoon and it should keep it will be keeping time just fine. All right so I'm actually go ahead and show you this watch on my wrist now. There we are. All right, so there's the watch on my wrist. Absolutely gorgeous, rhodium dial on the Datejust 41. Just absolutely beautiful. So if you're interested in this watch or any other watch for the lowest possible price, check out our website, jazzdown.com. With the lowest prices guaranteed, we offer a one year warranty. And if you liked the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys soon. If you want to find out more about the watch you just saw in the video, you can just click below on show more to see the full description. Then you can check the link next to model as seen in video, click on it and you will get to the proper page where you can see all the details. If you're watching on a mobile phone, you have to click on the arrow down on the right hand side below the video to see the full description. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to share this video with your friends, you can use the share button below and share it on any platform you like. If you have questions, constructive feedback, want to tell us about some mistakes or misspeaks, just write a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, you should subscribe to our channel and visit our channel page where you can find all the videos. And if you're interested in a specific watch brand, you can check out our playlists. If you want to check the price for a watch or want to buy one, remember at jazztime.com you always get a steep discount, so you should check the prices with us. If you want to know the price for a specific watch, just go to Google, type in jazztime, plus the brand, model and the details you're interested in and Google will find the right page for you. Thank you for watching.